Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris, and this is my channel. We love comics, and as always, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to check out one of my videos. Now, I wanted to show this. There's nothing special about this comic, but I wanted to show about how uh, the fading of a comic does not lower the grades like most people think. And I'm going to show you an example, and I wanted you to first see just it, what this comic, and this is Captain Marvel issue number 60, looks like get a good look at it and then I want you to see a CGC graded book and I'm not going to show you the grade right away but I want you to tell me what you think the grade would be according to CGC for a faded version of this book and the reason I bring this up is the other day um, or other week depending on when you watch this video or other month or the year um, I did a video about a recent purchase that I got it was a CGC graded daredevil number one that they graded at a 0 0.5 which before people saw the grade many people said that that book was about between a 1.5 and a 2.0 I think it's about a 1.8 myself and there were a couple people that said well CGC is very strict when it comes to faded comics so let's see if that holds true because most people base their information on instinct or feelings or what they hear and not on actual results. So here on my channel, I'm going to show actual proof so you can make your own determination, not based on my opinion, not based on my feelings, not based on what I heard, but actual evidence. So again, take a quick look at this um, image, especially right here and here and here, how red the colors are. So this is a really nice condition version of this book and then I'm going to show you a CGC graded version of this book without showing the grade first because I want to see what people think that grade would be. Okay, so here we have the same book that you just saw. Well, not the same exact book, but the same comic. This is Captain Marvel number 60 and if you compare the two, you could see that somebody at some point most likely either um, had this in their home or at a comic book store where it was exposed to sunlight and it tremendously faded the colors. Because like I said, I want you to concentrate here, here, and here. But you could see it throughout the book that this book has been faded tremendously. So before I reveal the grade, I want you to pause the video and I want you to tell me honestly what you think CGC graded this book as. And um, come back, and I'll show you what the grade was. Okay, so I'm assuming some of you at least took the time to pause the video, uh, leave a comment mentioning what they thought the grade would be, and now I'm going to reveal what CGC actually gave this. So let's scroll up, up, and up. And CGC graded this book a 9.8 so I know there are people out there that want to hate me for whatever reason or you know God forbid somebody actually talks about CGC in a negative light um, but I in this on this channel I have no bias towards any company even though I have a deal with PGX I'm not gonna sit here and say they're the number one grading company because they're not they're not even number two they are as of now number three of the three grading comic book companies but if they do something good I'm gonna say it if they do something bad I'm also gonna say it the problem is in the comic book world there are people that are so stuck on CGC and we all know the main reason because people regurgitate it time and time again the, the main reason why people like CGC so much is because they sell for higher prices and, you know, that's not up for debate because you could read anybody's comments when it comes to videos like this all over the web and all over YouTube. People say time and time again, you could sell CGCs for a lot more money. So that's the primary reason. So a lot of people are afraid to talk bad about CGC at all for fear that it might actually devalue their comics. Now, considering I have probably three or four hundred graded comics and more than half of them are CGCs, I could risk that as well, but to me, I would rather have truthful information out there than just biased information that makes other people feel good, because that hurts us in the long run, because if we don't call out all grading companies, 
on the mistakes they make, then they're never going to improve. And I don't want to settle for mediocrity. So do you honestly think with a cover this faded, it should have received a 9.8 grade? Now, I totally understand that a faded comic should be a lower grade, definitely not a 0.5 because of it, but a 9.8 is a near-perfect comic. Most of the color on this comic is gone. Does that make it as perfect as what the other comic I showed would be? And here it is again, so you could see it. Here is an un the ungraded version of that book, and look at the difference between the two. So let me do between one and the other. Look at the difference. That's night and day, and yet CGC and a total... Remember, because remember, they claim that three people grade each book, which honestly I question, because they get literally tens of thousands of books probably in a week. And you're telling me they have enough time for three people to go over every single page of every single comic? Um, if they do, that's amazing. But you're telling me three people, three professional graders saw this book, and even though they'll have images to go against, they may have seen this one or had plenty of others, they're saying this is the same as this and deserved a 9.8 grade? So I know I'm going to get my thumbs down. The other video, just because I had a right to my own opinion, and I showed proof, I didn't base it on feelings and emotions and rumors. I based it on fact and uh, and people's ability to see and make their own judgments. I got 20 thumbs down on that video. Uh, 25, I think, at this point, And probably will continue to go up, which I don't care about. But if people are going to basically give CGC a free pass, no matter what they do, then you're settling for mediocrity. You're not giving them a reason or any incentive to better their product. And you're basing it on fear or popularity contests. Because I don't do this to be popular. Because I guarantee you I'm going to get hate for doing this stuff. Because, you know, heaven forbid you say anything about CGC. And again, I'm not a hater. I still collect CGCs. I love CGC. They are still the number one grading company. They have the best slab of all the grading companies, but yet they're not a company that's immune to making mistakes and getting things wrong. So I'm not afraid to call them out. Many people are because they're afraid of being judged. And a lot of people stay quiet because they are afraid that somebody might criticize them or, God forbid, they get a thumbs down on their videos. If you're worried about how much money you make or how many views you get on a video or how many thumbs up and thumbs down you get, instead of giving quality information that allows your viewers to have the ability to make their own decisions based on facts and evidence then you're not doing justice to your subscribers. And to the subscribers out there, don't settle for channels who are going to be biased, who are going to base information on rumors and opinions and feelings and are going to not do videos like this that will expose problems. I don't wish CGC to go out of business. I don't wish them bad. But I do want people to call out a company when they make mistakes. This should not be a 9.8. Now, you can agree, you can disagree. But if you think these two look the same as far as the color, and you think this is deserving of almost a perfect grade, because you're talking the difference between a 9.8 and a 10.0 is basically maybe 1 20th of one little ding in the corner. This is a big difference. So I don't want to make this video too long. I want to thank you. I want you to tell me in your opinion what you think about um, this kind of situation. Would you have given this a 9.8? Now, this person's trying to sell this book. I'll be honest. If I sent this book to PGX, if I had this book and I got it back and it came, a, came out to be a 9.8, like I did with that um, Moon Knight um what was it? Werewolf by Night 32, First Moon Knight. 
When I cracked that out because I didn't believe it deserved the 6 or a 6.5 they gave it when I thought it was around a 3.0, if it came back a 9.8, I would rip this open and I would take it out and never sell it. Somebody is going to sell this because they know they can make money for it and they're probably selling it quickly because they don't want to keep this book because in their hearts, they probably realize this should not be a 9.8. So I already see, as I made this video, somebody actually bought this book. Um, you know, to each their own, but, you know, formulate your own opinion. If you appreciate what I do, please show support by giving it a thumbs up. Please share these videos, get them out there, because not many channels in the YouTube community for comic books are going to be brave enough to call these things out. Many of them just want to join a bandwagon, and because they know that CGC is the most popular and so many people love them, they're just going to sing the praises of CGC and be afraid to do videos like this. That does not help you as a consumer. That does not help you make the best choices for your money. Don't throw your money away. Because like I always say, if you bought this comic, it doesn't affect me in any way. I'm not the one selling it. But if I can help you make better choices so you accept quality over quantity, then I'm glad you came to my channel. So I need your help with this because many channels will never talk about things like this. You know, sometimes lying is not saying a false statement. Sometimes it's just as similar as not telling the truth, as omitting facts out of convenience or necessity. I'm not going to do that here. So as you'll see, as this uh, video gets older and older, it's probably going to have 20, 25, 30, maybe up to 50 thumbs down. And those are for, from people who are not looking for constructive criticism, who are not looking for facts. They are biased because they don't want CGC's reputation to get tainted. And that is not the way to have quality. So that's all I have to say about it. You formulate your own opinion. And uh, if you like what I do here, I'll do more videos like this because I'm not just trying to pick on CGC, but I am trying to expose the fact they're, that they're not as, you know, in angelic as many people put them up to. You know, sometimes you got to knock down a pedestal if the person on top of it is not, you know, worthy of being there. CGC is still number one, but that should not give them the right to put out mediocre products. And that goes for any company. So thank you very much for listening. I appreciate it. I look forward to your comments. I hope you will hit subscribe. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Have a great day.